Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the second video of my YouTube return and today I am going to be going over my creative styling process. I get asked all the time, how do I decide what pieces go together? How do I style weird pieces in my wardrobe? And today I am going to give you the behind the scenes of my styling process before you see it on YouTube or Instagram. So essentially I pick out what I wanna style for the week. I recently got a few new pieces in the mail, so that's usually something I will style right away. I got this knit sweater with this all over nipple print. The cutest, most whack thing ever. I actually can't wait to style it. And then by the same brand, I got these wide leg cheese pants. They are both by a fashion brand company. And I think they are the most fun pieces to style right up my alley. So let's get to it. So here's what I'm starting with. I layered my Cyber Dot John Paul Gaultier bodysuit underneath because you will see them here in the little holes like you'll see the bodysuit underneath and to be honest i am going to pop up an inspiration photo i'm kind of going for like a moldy cheese look and this i think is so high fashion but still so quirky and fun i'm also thinking of going out and grabbing some baby bell cheese to create little fun earrings i love diying my earrings to match my outfit and i feel like that would be so cute something i was thinking of adding was possibly this kids cuisine hair clip i haven't worn it in a while um and i think it would look super cute also lol my shelf right here is just insane i think the colors work really well even with the kids cuisine hair clip and the yellow just tying in perfectly with the pants I'm moving on to the nipple sweater just to start it because I already have an idea. I recently thrifted this baby bottle piggy bank, which I want to upcycle basically into a purse that's going to kind of hang sideways like that with a long pink chain. I also found these freaking adorable little baby soothers that I want to use as earrings. Also, this print already inspired what I want to add. So that's like an earring, let's say. I'm going to have two of them, and I might turn some of them into little keychains to hang off the purse. Like, how freaking cute. I also absolutely want to pierce some of the nipples. Essential, um, self-explanatory. So... I definitely have some leftover nipple piercings from my jewelry business when I used to use them for my rings, and I'm going to add them around just to add some more color too, but I'm obsessed. One more thing I really want to style this week is this peach vintage suit I thrifted. I think it's going to fit me perfectly. The jacket is cropped. There's the tag, and the bottoms came with the belt and everything. I did just steam it, but of course it's already wrinkled. This is like that polyester material. I know that peach fuzz is the Pantone color of the year, so I thought that would make a cool video. Hey. Okay, here's a better look at the suit laid out. I really wanna wear teal with it. I think teal and peach are just beautiful together, and I think that would look super cute. It could even look cute if I do it over. The blazer i'm not really sure yet but i just kind of threw it on like that and i already like it i also have a hat in mind which i will show you <laughs> walk through my dungeon here i have this beautiful vintage hat that i think could be perfect yeah like it matches so perfectly that looks sick i'm thinking of adding black into the look because these taffeta gloves, I feel like would be really cool. I'm thinking these sculptural black heels to keep it still fun, but at the same time, it's still just black shoes and it really ties in with the glove. Or I can do 
this fringy belt over top. Okay, I added my fun chainmail dress as a skirt to kind of layer. And I think that could be super fun. It gives that circular shape, which mimics in the shirt, the little polka dots. I have these little ones that would match perfect, actually. Honestly, I'm thinking a pop of yellow. And I'm thinking my bright, silly little bow bag. She's so freaking cute. And I think it's going to be the perfect addition like a perfect color to add into this palette. It also totally mimics the bows on the gloves, which I love. It's all still very cohesive. Okay, I got these super fun glasses. They're prescription because I do wear prescription glasses, of course. Um, but I think that the like industrial kind of feel of them would be really cool. With the look... I think that's super fun. I think it ties in the little black parts of the outfit. I think the last thing is just a little necklace. I did thrift this choker that might be super cute because I think we need something short. I don't know if this is like overkill. Sometimes it's a little much even for me and I'm probably going to wear it to work tomorrow. Okay, y'all, I secured the baby bell cheese and have expanded on the outfit already. I kind of just started going crazy. Um, so I made the Baby Bell cheese earrings. They're going to be so freaking cute. Added a few more hair clips just to tie in with the kids' cuisine, um, chicken nugget and fries. And then I did already pick the sunglasses to kind of match. Now that we have the red, I went for these with the chicken bag, which I love wearing them together because I feel like this is like a little beak. And then I did go with the chunky red loafer to keep it pretty cohesive for the most part. I'm going to wear my egg ring. And then I also added my Colina Strata skirt belt. I love mixing patterns like this plaid with the John Paul Gaultier print. But it still ties in nicely because of the yellow with the pants. Um, and I just add these skirt belts to freaking everything. So this is kind of the overview of the outfit and then I'm still kind of waiting on assembling this purse that I'm going to use for this outfit so this outfit's going to have to come after it's not done yet um and then this is going to be first and then I have that outfit there that we just did earlier and this is kind of how I generally plan out my weekly outfits we're still going to come back and you'll kind of see at the end how they all turn out. So I just filmed the Pantone peach fuzz look. And I guess I'm probably completely out of frame, but it'll be up on my TikTok if you want to see that video. And now your girl's got to go to work. So I just got this banana bag from Puppets and Puppets, which I'm going to add to the cheese pant outfit to complete the food theme. And I think that is perfect. And I'm like, I guess I can show you over here. I did my makeup to match the colors of the outfit and I'm ready to film now. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what the outfit looks like on me. Here is the cheese pant outfit. I have to kind of get in frame here, but I just filmed this look and I'm going to go take some photos. Got this puppets and puppets bag right in time to go with the look. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to go take some photos. So it is now Friday and I have this outfit prepared for today's video and just did my makeup. Hopefully it's focused on me. But yeah, I just basically pierced a few of the nipples here and then made my earrings. So they kind of hang like that, which I think is super cute. 
so that's done and then the purse i completed this morning and i just added this little baby charm to it and a little suitor charm as well and it's honestly so freaking cute here is the makeup in better lighting i will show you when i'm done filming I forgot to show you the final outfit, but I have to run to an eye appointment right now. So here's like a little glimpse, but you will see it on TikTok. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place. I will get better at filming and organizing how I construct my YouTube videos going forward. I wanted to say thank you so much for the support on my first video, and I hope you love this one and follow along for a lot more content. Mwah.